Hi guys, it's Tim with Inflatable Office and Event Office, and I'm going to show you a little bit on how to set up um, kind of like a answering service or uh, auto attendant or uh, some people call them phone trees. Um, there's a lot of different ways, uh, but basically it's when someone calls in and they get a message giving them options on what they can press and do within your company so that they can get the information or to the person that they need to talk to. So. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your uh, settings and go to iPhone, which is where we are right now. Uh, you need to have a number associated with your account. So uh, in this case, our demo account has a number here. Um, you can port in your business number uh, if you want to do that. I recommend that. Or you can get an, an additional number and you can start advertising that number if you want. Um, first thing you're going to do with this number is you're going to have a greeting. Uh, so um, what you're going to do is when you make your number, you're going to have a new recording and you're going to create it. Uh, and when you do that, it's going to take you to a recording section um, and you can name it. And this would be something like, um, you know, a first um, greeting. I don't know uh, what you would want to call it, but uh, and, and you can upload it or you can record on the fly. Um, and when you record on the fly, basically, we just allow you to record right through your, your browser. So I'm not going to actually do this um, because it wouldn't be that exciting for you. But uh, to give you an example of um, what I would be saying would be something like, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it just for kicks here. Hi, this is my company dot LLC. And uh, I want you to press one if you want to talk to me and press two if you need to um, get our hours. Okay, so that's an example. I'm gonna go ahead and save that for now, uh, just so we have something to work with. Um, and you'll see when I save it, uh, it's now listed here. So I could pick this first greeting. So when someone calls in, they're gonna hear this message that says, you know, press one to talk to me and press two to get our hours, okay? Um, we would not wanna loop the greeting in this case. Um, possibly you would want to, if they didn't hear it, um, you know, you'd say, I, I want it to keep playing until they press. Um, so you may want to make a pause at the end of your greeting so that um, when it loops, it's clear that it's looping. Um, and that's all you really have to do for this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And the next thing that we're going to do <clears throat> is we now have to set up what happens when they do these button presses. So um, in the first one we said press one if they want to talk to me right so what i would come in here and do is and set up a ring schedule and this would be me uh, whoever that it was that we wanted them to, to dial and we would say oops uh yeah extensions only we're only going to do extensions we're not going to have a delay on this um and then i would need to set um let's see there might be a better place to do this here let me see if we do it through extensions you can do it a couple of different ways um, so no, it'd be better to do it back where we were. So we would say, I wanted to dial me and, um, then I search for me. Okay. So, um, this name could have just, you know, been, if I was Jim Jones, I might've put my name up here, um, and maybe said, you know, extension. So they probably would do something like this, uh, Jim Jones, um, you know, phone tree. Because we can have multiple ring schedules. Um, and so that's the one that's going to trigger when they press the button in the phone tree. OK, and I can also set up a time and I can also filter by who I want to allow to actually get through to me or not. So if, if none of these match, um, what it's going to do is just send them to my voicemail. If I don't have a voicemail set up, it'll send them to the co company voicemail. Uh, so that would be the first thing we would do here. Oops, I got to add one of these. Um, so that would be the first thing you would do. That handles the number one press. Okay, the one press is easy. Um, you can also ring a group too. So if it was, um, you know, because we have groups in here. So if you were to set up a group, um, you know, you, you would call it like maybe, um, you know, support group, and you'd pick, you know, maybe it's two different people. Uh, and then back over in our ring schedule, uh, what we would do is we would actually, instead of putting in 
worker here, we would actually search for the group and we just pick the group. And that, that would then be everybody in that group. You can see we list them here to show you what those are. So, um, so we'll, we'll keep it that way. Uh, well, we'll save that new that change. Um, so the other thing that you can do is if in a phone tree, that kind of, um, you might have multiple prompts that take them into multiple different places, right? So um, in the case we asked for our number two would be our business hours, right? So we could do business hours is what this one is extension is. And that was a number two press. Uh, and then we would associate a greeting with it. And that greeting would be like, um, and, and see, we could have uh, done our extension here too. So, um, but that, that greeting would have been something like, um, in fact, we do have to do that still because we never did associate this. Uh, so this would be, this would be Jim Jones, um, you know, phone tree or whatever you want to name it. And we're going to match it up with that ring schedule that we set up. So that actually builds, does the extension. So now that's going to work when they press one. So we got to add another one. This would be the number two and this would be business hours. And so in this case, we would do a recording and I don't have one made here, but let's just say that's the right recording. And so when they do that, they would then get to my recording that says our hours are uh, from, you know, nine to five, Monday through Friday. Um, you know, if this is an emergency, press one or press three. If this is, uh, um, you know, uh, if this is not an emergency and you want to leave a message, press four. So you could do that too. And you, with this phone tree, with the way you do this, you can actually take it down as many uh, levels as you want. So, um, and, and, and uh, if you want to, you can have, you can say press pound after they press the extension. Cause we'll wait a few seconds to make sure they're done pressing numbers um, because you can have multi, you can have like, you know, press 100 or press 123 or whatever um, as well. So, if you want to have the, it be more immediate, they'd have to press the pound key after it. But um, what you can do is have them, you can have multiple levels of these of these things. So you can kind of drill down. So after I save this one, I could do another one that says, okay, what happens when they pressed option three? You know, option three is gonna be, um, I forget, I think I said like for emergencies. Uh, so option three, you know, would be maybe we ring, uh, we have a different phone schedule in here that's like an emergency schedule that rings, uh, you know, someone who's who's dealing with off hours emergencies. And so we would select that ring schedule and save it. Uh, and then option four, I'm not gonna save it just to show you here. Uh, we said, you know, to go to voicemail, um, and we would do a similar thing here where we send them to another uh, ring schedule and that ring schedule would be set up to just to actually um, go direct to voicemail. I think that's how that works. So um, anyway, I hope that's helpful for you. Uh, yeah, I don't have a voicemail box in here. So if I were to make a voicemail box, I should have a voicemail box show up back uh, in this extension area when I'm adding them. Um, I would see a voicemail option in here too. So that's how you do it. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to get in touch with us, but I just wanted to do a quick demo on how you build those more complicated phone trees. All right. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll talk to you soon.